Hey there, I'm Matt and welcome to Game Dev Guide. UI is super important. It's the literal interface between the user and your game. Many of us want our UI to look and feel great. So you're probably going to want to animate some of those sweet, sweet transitions. If you're a new developer using Unity or perhaps you're an artist and you're doing some UI work, at some point you're probably going to open the animator and start working on some of those aforementioned sweet, sweet transitions. Don't do it. No, really, if you have any animation on your UI at all, you're updating your layout every single frame. Even if nothing happens, it's incredibly expensive to your game's performance. So what's the alternative? Well, it's tweening. If you've never heard of it before, tweening is essentially a term to refer to the in-between. So a tween would be the animation that occurs in between two points. It's an extremely efficient way to animate things, and it's much easier to manage than having a thousand animation clips bogging down your project. I'm not even kidding when I say with one simple component, you can more or less animate the entire majority of your UI. While I could do an entire video on writing your own tweening library, there are plenty available on the asset store that work straight out of the box. For the purposes of this video, we're going to be using my personal favorite, Lean Tween. Lean Tween is a free tweening library that I've been using pretty much since I started using Unity. To animate something with Lean Tween, you simply call the class and then the type of tween you want to perform. I've attached this component to a box which I want to scale in as it closes, so I'll simply call leantween.scale and set the point to zero, I'll set a duration of half a second, and then here's why I love Lean Tween so much, I'll chain an onComplete command to destroy the UI element once it's finished animating. Let's suppose we want to chain other UI to pop up when this closes. We can just thread our tweens and control an entire sequence of annoying UI pop-ups using lean tween and delays. You should be able to see that a tweening library is extremely flexible. And as I said, it's not only great for UI, but we can also use a tweening library like this to control other objects in our game. Here's a bunch of objects and I want to simulate them falling from the sky and bouncing. I could do that with physics, but it's unnecessarily expensive and tweening them would be much cheaper. So here, we've got a component that moves the objects down with the ping pong method, meaning that our UI will animate to its point and then animate back in reverse. However, you animators out there might be pointing out that it's kind of characterless and that using an animator component is much better because you can customize curves. Well, don't fret, tweening library got you covered. In lean tween, we can set an ease type. So let's set a few different ones on our objects. We can also define a custom curve if these aren't good enough. Now there's much more character. And as you can see, if we add easing into our UI scaling component, it also adds much more character to our pop-up box. Let's suppose we expose more of the features of our tweening library to this component, things like duration and delay. This way we can have the exact same zoom script on multiple UI elements in our canvas, but with some variation of settings, they all behave slightly differently. With this process, you can hopefully see the potential of how you can take a library like this further into a master component for animating your UI elements and game objects by code. For my own projects, I've written a custom UI tweener component that handles different common tweening types I might want, such as moving, zooming, or fading a canvas group. The component takes an input of a tween type and then processes the settings on the component into a suitable tween. It makes adding that UI polish super, super easy as I can add it as soon as I'm done designing my UI element. It's an extremely fast and easy way to get that sweet, sweet polished UI feeling without having to lift a finger. So remember, tween your UI, don't animate it. And that's pretty much it for this guide. If you want to learn more about optimizing UI for your game, I highly suggest watching this talk from Ian Dundor at Unite 2017. It's a 50 minute talk about improving performance with half of the talk dedicated to workarounds and gotchas for Unity's UI system. I'll be covering a few of them in the future, but it's definitely recommended watching for any Unity UI artists or designers among you. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment. And of course, if you're interested in more game dev tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.